In the last video, we talked about uh, getting Mini-Me out and about, and that's definitely something we want to do. Um, however, I would like Mini-Me to also learn to be safe or to feel safe in a kennel. I think for her, being in a kennel might give her like a confined, or the confinement of a kennel might help her, if we can create a positive association, give her a safe place to go to. There's too many people here. I don't know how to deal with these people. I go to my kennel, nobody bugs me. It's my safe place. Now, the problem is she's so small and she doesn't like the kennel. And if her guardian puts her in the kennel, she just basically barks at her guardian the whole time. And because the guardian works from home, that makes it very difficult. So what I'm gonna do is take a playbook from uh, the Quest Ed section of my website and have the Guardian set up a puppy playpen. You can order these online, I'll probably have it linked here uh, underneath this video. And uh, you, these are eight panel uh, playpens that are movable, collapsible. So what I'd like the Guardian to do, I'm gonna have, uh, she suggested maybe under the stairs over here, if you can pan a little bit over there. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna set that up under there. We can leave it there all the time or if we wanna have it look uh, more like an office, we can collapse it and take it away when the Guardian uh, it has clients over, but we want to keep on setting it up in the same place uh, With the door the entrance door to it in the same location uh, Kind of in the same shape. So we have some continuity now. We have a kennel right here If we're going to shoot the kennel, um, I put some treats in there and many me did not want to go in there now uh, There's a couple things we can do to put the dog in a position to succeed so first of all when we put the uh, the uh, in the puppy playpen work it's gonna be on hardwood floor it's winter, it's Nebraska. She is probably prefer to sleep on carpet or something soft. The only soft place in the puppy playpen is gonna be inside the kennel. Now, it's not gonna, the door is gonna be open. We're not gonna close the door on her at all. And we're gonna also make it easier for her to go in there by putting treats in there so that when she goes in the kennel, something good happens. Now, knowing Minnie Me and as, as insecure as she is, I'm guessing that's still gonna be difficult for her to do. So for the first week, what I'd like to do once we set up the puppy playpen, we put the kennel, uh, we're gonna put the uh, dog in the puppy playpen. Without the kennel, we're just gonna have the mat that's in the kennel, the white mat right down here, in the location wherever we're gonna put the kennel. So it looks, I mean, it's just as if the kennel wasn't there, but the mat is gonna be in that location. So that takes away the negative or any perception of being trapped, and it's just a soft place to lay, and we're gonna leave treats on there. So she goes over there, she's gonna probably protest when the guardian leaves, bark and complain a little bit, but then nobody's listening. So then eventually she smells them, goes over there, eats one or two of them, and then the guardian's gone for, a, for an hour at lunch. Well, I'm not gonna stand for an hour. Eventually she'll start laying down and sitting and laying down, feeling comfortable there. Now, if we had a puppy uh, a security camera, that would be a great way to see how often that happens or how quickly that happens, and if it happens at all, because once we come in the door, the dog's gonna get up. You can order these on, on Amazon or on uh, uh, Groupon, they're usually about 50, 60 bucks. You can watch it from your phone, your computer, your tablet. I have one, they're great. So if we could set one of those up, that way you can actually monitor, the guardian can monitor while she's gone. Is Minnie me pacing the whole time? Or when I leave, does she just go and lay down right away? And what we should see is her starting to go over there and laying down faster and faster. When we get to the point where we leave and by the time we get to the elevator at the end of the hall, Minnie is like already sitting and lying down, that would be the time to bring the kennel back into it. We're gonna put the kennel in the exact position that, and that's really important, where the pad has been, and we're gonna put the pad back inside. The door's gonna be wide open, and we're gonna keep leaving the treats in there. What we should see is the dog now getting in a habit and just going back to the same location and sitting and laying in the kennel. Now, after this has happened, and this is probably gonna take a month, maybe a month and a half, but eventually, if every time the guardian leaves the dog, the dog's in a, a more confined area, the puppy playpen, so it's, the world isn't so overwhelming. If I hear somebody in the hallway, I don't have to freak out at it. Um, it helps her feel comfortable because she's practicing essentially being calm inside the kennel. And this is how I kennel train my puppy Quest and I never have to actually do any puppy kennel training. He just got used to sleeping in that for a couple months. When I finally started closing the door, it was no big deal. So um, I, we wanna also provide some enrichment in the puppy playpen. So I'd like to see a chicken's foot, a trachea, uh, uh, whatever the, the things are that, you know, the toys and interactive stuff that she gets to chew on and play with in there. I know she's not a big to dog toy person, but if we put a Kong, a little Kong filled with peanut butter, um, or maybe we put a, a, a treat dispensing ball with some chicken liver inside of it, that might entice her to try to get that chicken liver out and that gives her an activity and something to do to occupy her time while her guardian is gone. So by setting up a puppy playpen, I think we're gonna help the dog develop a positive association with the kennel, have a safe place to go. 
And uh, eventually, when she's practiced being in there enough, the guardian will be able to put her in there, even when she has a client around the wall. And because the dog's used to it, she should go in there and just kind of relax and settle herself down. She'll probably bark a little bit at first, but if we don't respond, responding at all, even if it's to be quiet, that's the response. We just want to have no response whatsoever. After a while, she's like, I complain all I want and nothing happens. I'm just going to go take a nap and hopefully this person, this visitor will leave. So this is how we can use a puppy playpen to help the dog develop a little bit more confidence by restricting their access to the house and kind of making their small world a little bit smaller.